Five o'clock. Okay. Everything on, Sherry? Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. I welcome everybody to Historic Preservation Commission. Uh, today is Oct Thursday, October 10th. It is five o'clock. Uh, Sherry, could you do the roll call, please? Chair Akins? Uh, here. Vice Chair Quinn? Here. Commissioners McCready? Here. James? Here. Combrey? Here. McCatton? Here. Okay, in one vacancy. And one vacancy, pardon. Great, thank you. Okay, if we could stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, public communications, members of the public uh, wishing to address the Historic Preservation Commission on items appearing on the agenda are requested to complete a speaker's card and file it with the secretary. Cards are available in the council chamber's lobby. All comments should be limited to three minutes unless additional time is granted by the chair. Speakers should state their name and address for the record. Not sure if we still do that. Uh, and must direct their comments to the chair, not the audience or press. While the Historic Preservation Commission is in session, members of the commission, city staff, and members of the audience are expected to maintain order and decorum and to obey the orders of the chair. Uh, before beginning, I would like to ask C City Manager Vega to please introduce the gentleman on his left to us and to the public. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I, I appreciate the opportunity. I wanted to introduce Joe Fiss, our new assistant city manager. Joe recently came from the city of Moore Park and uh, worked with uh, community development and planning. And uh, he will be uh, most likely um, uh, working with um, both Historic Preservation and Planning Commission along with our new uh, soon to be recruited community development manager. Okay. Welcome, Welcome Joe. Was that your first city council meeting the other night, Tuesday? Uh, second one. Second. Second one. Oh, okay. Good. Did you stay for uh, all the way to the very end? I did. My item was the last one. So. <laughs> oh, I thought our item was the last one. It was, well, <laughs> it, I, I, wait, I think we're next I, to you. You were report. number six. We were number five. So Okay. That's the ha the hazing ritual. Is the, when you're new, you, when you're new, you're new you get put at there the end. Go. <laughs> and you stayed, aw stayed awake the whole time, I noticed, so. <laughs> You, oh, stuff. because you were sitting over there under the air conditioning. Right. <laughs> and the bright lights. Pretty close to it. Well, welcome. We're, we're very happy to have you here. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Uh, museum representative report. I know Mark Lewis would love that his name's still showing up on our agenda. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, uh, so information provided me fr uh, by Wendy Barker, our OI Valley Museum Executive Director. Uh, free admission this week and a Monday during the OSA tour, which is taking place. The museum is the location for ticket sales and will call for online tickets beginning at noon on Friday. These are tickets for the uh, upcoming Ojai Studio Artist Tour, or one of the locations selling tickets. Free artist profiles event will be Friday night from 7 to 9, where you can learn about each individual artist to help you plan your OSA tour. Uh, the OSA exhibit's been going on for some time. And it will, Monday is the last day of the Origins OI Studio Artists exhibit. Uh, it says OSA ticket holders event at the museum is Saturday night from 6 to 8. So they have an, another event taking place. Next week is third Friday. Um, have all of you enjoyed third Fridays in downtown Ojai? Mm -hmm. 
it actually is quite fun. When I first heard about it, we were looking for volunteers from the museum board to do it. I'm like, okay, sure, I'll go sit there for two hours staring at the exhibits I've stared at a number of times. But it was fascinating meeting all the different people came, that came in, a lot of families, a lot of people from out of town. So Third Friday, big deal. Uh, next week is Third Friday musician Paul Harkins will perform. There will be a simple craft and, of course, free admission, sips and snacks. Uh, next exhibition coming up is Legacy, Krishna Murti and Ojai, which is going to be very uh, fascinating, fabulous, and educational. I know that uh, Craig Walker is uh, actively assisting uh, with that, putting that exhibit together. That, the exhibit reception will be on the third Friday in November. Okay, uh, consent items. Minutes of the September 12th, 2019 meeting. Are there any corrections or changes or? Um, yeah, I have a correction. Was Commissioner DuPoint was not here. Was it she not gone? I don't she, think she was here in September. She was. She was not. Uh, yeah, on page one, her name is, and also on page two. That was, and then I just noticed after Rose, it says Rose Boggs biography. There should be an apostrophe, like Craig Walker's has an apostrophe, and Rose Boggs should have it. So that's. Oh, should be apostrophe after the S. Yeah, but Commissioner DePoit is not there. Nope. Huh? Yeah, so, so that, yeah, the. Bogs, Single bogs, is after the S. After, yeah, it's tricky. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think DePoit's on here two times on page one and one. She's just in there. I'm sure she was watching. <laughs> Take her off. Yeah. Lisa's in Prescott learning what, uh, that she's not in California anymore. She's out in the wild, wild west, mm -hmm. in case you saw one of her questions on Facebook. Um, so any other changes? I have yes. none. Okay. So. Help us. So if we don't have any other changes, a uh, motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Perfect. Okay, item number two is in your pamphlet. So uh, a few months back, uh, Elise had uh, approached about doing a uh, brochure for the Ojai Jail, the Nordoff Jail. Uh, we had talked about it. I think I'd talked about it with Sherry. I had talked about it with uh, City Manager Vega. Uh, and so she put that together. It's been reviewed by uh, a couple different people uh, going down the lines. Uh, it is being brought to the uh, Historic Preservation Commission uh, as a matter of information. Uh, it doesn't really need our approval, um, just our endorsement. Uh, it is, and Elise said when she left that she was going to try to get this to us so that we would have it for Ojai Day, which is nice because we're at the mail, jail. One, we're trying to re remember everything we're supposed to know when they're asking intricate questions. And two is people are always looking for something to take away. And I love to, if you ever, <laughs> we just came back from a trip, I have six different brochures to read because I love brochures. <laughs> Um, so, and the other interesting thing is that the uh, Park and Rec Department uh, is, having, is having, it's fully booked, it's overbooked, it has a waiting list for a year or two, if they continue to do it annually, is they have uh, partnered with Richard Sennett, the Ventura County Ghost Hunter, and Saturday night they are, uh, Richard Sennett is leading the ghost tour, and one of the stops is the Ojai Jail. So this, uh, we'll make copies of this. Uh, I'll get this to Renee, and so they'll have this brochure uh, to take with them on their tour. So that's fabulous, and again, we'll have copies uh, to hand out at the, uh, at the uh, Ojai Day. So any comments? I have a sort of related, unrelated comment. Um, okay. I'm just nearly certain that the last time the jail was painted, it, they just took whatever paint they had and 
Now the jail is like almost a milk chocolate color. <laughs> and it used to be white. It's white in this picture. It, and so where do we go with that? I'm nearly certain it was white. And, and, and Elise, before she left and I talked about it, she's certain it was white or an off-white, if you will. Um, this picture looks white. Yeah, it used to be white. Er. <clears throat> so I'd like to just get that into the record next time it's painted. Let's get the correct color. Okay. Thank you. Noted. Yeah. Yeah. And when I see Greg Grant, I'll mention that to him, too. Uh, and, and the picture was a picture they were able to find, and Roger Conrad uh, cleaned it up for, for Elise. Uh, if we hadn't known this maybe two weeks ago, <laughs> we could have made him make it white, but it would have been not accurate to its... But that discussion has taken place, Darwin. <laughs> What's the real historical color? Thank you. Any other um, observations? Yes. Actually, I think there's a spelling error um, at, right under the picture, the old picture. Uh -huh. He built the wooden two-cell jail in the back of his property at what was? Oh, it should what? It, what is now? At was is now. It's at at oh, was. Oh, was yeah. Is now. What? It should be what? Thank yeah. you. I didn't see that when I thought, looked at it earlier. But. I know, I didn't see it earlier. Either. <laughs> yeah, we, it, it used to say that it was on the wrong side of the railroad track, so we corrected that. But yeah, great. Sherry, are you able to make that correction? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, anything else? Great. And the nice thing is if you have an electronic copy of this, say you're picking it off the city website, if you go to, go in to the uh, bottom right corner, you can click on HTTPS at Vimeo.com. So that is a hyperlink. Um, you know, if you just have this standard print thing, you can enter that. But uh, digitally, it works and it will take you to an interview that was done oh 84 I'm guessing 35 years ago yep oh there it is okay anything else any comments from Mr. Thank Vega or? thank you Elise yes thank you very <laughs> much Elise okay uh Let's see, where is, oh, we'll get to it. Okay, Ojai Day preparations, then we'll go on to uh, discussion item number three. Ojai Day is a week from Saturday. It uh, starts at 10, finishes at 5. And we usually, uh, we're always there. Sometimes many of us, sometimes a single individual who just enjoys Ojai Day so much. <laughs> to which we're all very appreciative of uh, Darwin. It is, uh, when Elise and I did it last year together, it was really helpful if one person can talk and one person was in the jail just because there are people who like to climb in it or write on it. So it's nice to have two just so we can kind of keep an eye on things. Okay. Um, <coughs> I, I'm not, I can't remember the times we did it exactly in the past, but I kind of put in 10 to, 10 to 12, 12 to 2, and then 2 to 5 as options. Do you remember Darwin? Does that sound about right? Yeah, I think we, you know, we, the fair or the day officially starts at 10, but, you know, we got there earlier to set up and so right. forth. And I don't remember closing time. <clears throat> I know it did uh, the, uh, the later the afternoon, the l fewer and fewer people that came last right. year. I know last year we overlapped it like by 30 minutes, so we had a coming and going sort of okay. thing. So what would people like to do? I, I need to inform the commission that I've mistakenly made uh, business plans for that day that are taking me out of town, so I'm not available on Ojai Day. And I just realized it a couple of days ago, and I looked at the night, the date, the 19th, so I will not be here. Okay. It's the 19th. And yeah, Saturday. I have a family event in the Bay Area on the 19th, okay. so I will not be here. If we did that. 
maybe one, two, three, four, five, and it overlaps by half an hour. Okay, well, we're down to four commissioners at the moment, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> Bob know. and I opened last year, and we're happy to do it again. Okay. Okay. So. So, so many, we're down in, yeah, you're right, we're down in commissioners. Like yeah, yeah, that's what Gina had yeah. put over here. So open would, tell me your hour again, Brian. Yeah, if it was 9.30 to 11, 11, 11 to 12.30, 12.30 to 2, 2 to 3.30, and 3.30 to 5. Okay, okay but that doesn't have an op overlap but, in it. Um, that has an overlap of 30 minutes in each time. 9.30 to 11. 9.30 to 11. 11.30, sorry, yeah. Sorry, oh, to 11.30. Really okay. Yeah. So it's, oh, oh, I see what you're saying. So I was just trying to do it. Really so quick. is there four spots that you make? So 1 o'clock to 2.30, 2.30 to 4, and then maybe somebody could come back. I don't mind coming back at the end. Okay. Yeah, I think cleanup, I, well, for cleanup, that's what I know the best. It's just essentially taking things down and setting it inside the jail. Isn't yeah. that correct? And setup is? Getting things out of the jail. Um, they unlocked it for us last time so that we just came there and got it out and set it all up okay and then you guys came after us and added to what we had done oh she came after you mm -hmm. oh, okay i was thinking she came okay i think what? Yeah. Oh, i think who came did you come out you came after me right yeah last year yes yeah. so it was okay so it was in me. me okay then me and, and then yeah i was i was at the end Okay. And Elise and then you. And then Elise and, and I ended up just staying there. Are you and Bob okay with opening up? Yeah. Okay. But last time, it, again, the city had un, already unlocked it. So it was, the, the jail was unlocked, and then we just got there and put everything out. Okay. And that's fine. Okay. Last year you were doing the Iverson fire. That's what you were doing last year. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had that in the morning. So I'm happy to, I, I'm happy to be the closer. Okay. okay. So. I, why don't we think about it? Why don't you do the time so you can... <laughs> okay, well, so 9.30. Let's see, so if we do it like 9.30 to 11.30, and then 11 to... That's 2. If we did it like... 11 to 1. 11 to 1, and then 12.30. It'd have to be 11 to 1.30, right? Well, no, wait, no, 11 yeah, to 1, you're right. Okay, and then 12.30 to 2.30, yeah. and then uh, 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock? That's a long one. But, yeah, but it's shady. There's fewer people. <laughs> um, well, I'll do I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, so if you did the last one, I'll do the one before it, and I'll just kind of linger. If it's busy, I'll just stay. Okay. Uh, so we need someone from 11 to 1. I'm doing 11 to 1, is it? Yeah, can you do that, Valerie? Yeah, so that's Val. I already said that, yeah. Okay, okay sorry. Right. Just, okay, so Thais, 9.30, and Bob, 9.30, 11.30. Valerie, 11 to 1. Gina, 12.30 to 2.30. And Brian, 2, two to 5. And that's what we did last year. More or less, yeah. Perfect. We have one more commissioner, I think. Oh, Perfect. No, he okay. wasn't, but it was the least. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so that's so right. okay. do I need to contact uh, his, I think his name is Dwayne Barrows, about the police car? So I saw him at okay. the, uh, we're going to get a staff update on the meeting that took place uh, a week ago Monday or two weeks ago Monday for the community. I saw Dwayne at that meeting and asked him about doing, bringing the car. He said, of course. So... Uh, I don't know if the city follows up with him, just because then it's a city invitation and maybe it's a little more official. No? Okay. I used to just go over and ask him formally, just so that he, you know, he knew. Yeah, uh, yeah I, as I said, I saw him at the community meeting. I said, I'm going to take this opportunity, right. talk to he and his wife for a while. So um, I, I will follow up with a phone call then, just as a reminder. And then uh, Sherry, sorry, sorry. And then Sherry, you'll um, have the jail unlocked, right? Okay, thank you. And then, um, is there a sandwich uh, like board directional? Because I know that yeah, it was supposed to be in 
We didn't have those last year. Well, we used to have these signs that we would use tape to, you know, you know uh, direct people to the jail, and each year there's, we lose one. So I don't know how many there are left now at this point. But it's a little, <laughs> excuse me, a little sign that says jail with an arrow. So they're in the box with all the rest of the stuff, what, however many there are remaining. We have a few more. Yeah. yeah. Well, I brought some to you a month or so ago, or left them for you too. Yeah. Yeah, we lose them every year. They're not the expensive ones. Mm -hmm. um, great. Yep. Yeah. yeah. The fun thing last year was again we were you know getting ready closing up, and this family kind of walked in, and you know they were looking at they were posting their young son with uh, the police car and. You know, I was explaining about the police car, and then just casually it came out that it was Dwayne's grandson and great-grandson that oh. was t taking pictures with the car. So it, it was fun to have that family connection in there. When Elise and I were doing it, uh -huh. we had two separate gentlemen say as teenagers they spent a night there. Oh, nice. <laughs> we tried to get a picture, of it, but they wouldn't do it. <laughs> they wanted to put, keep the past in the past. <laughs> Yeah, the one picture I was going to take was when we had the former city manager and uh, Matt, the attorney, in the same jail cell. I was tempted. <laughs> <laughs> I said I could post this and ruin your careers. So there's a no donation box on the way out. So, yeah, it, it, yeah, it's just fun. Um, okay, anything else that we need? Sherry, anything else we need? Mr. Vega? No? I, okay. I like one. Yes. If there isn't any more of those directionals, can we get our hands on another one? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Thank okay. you okay, moving on to uh, discussion item number four. Gina, you want to tell what, what we didn't do and why? <laughs> uh, Brian and I uh, discussed how we we're both in the middle of um, what we're what the, the discovery process of what we're working on and we just felt like we hadn't come much further between uh, the time that we our last meeting and this meeting so we rescheduled our next ad hoc for the Monday before uh, our next meeting in November and hopefully we'll have more information um, to report then yes yeah I, I'm just gonna be gone that Monday so <laughs> we'll, we'll find a, a time to make it work yeah yeah <laughs> It doesn't, yeah, I'm good. I'm pretty open. Yeah, so. yeah, I'm gone. So we'll, we'll work Figure something out. out in the meantime that works out for all of us. <coughs> okay, uh, <coughs> discussion item number, again on that, um, Joe, I, I see by your signature that you put the timeline and the information together for us on this. On the item we just discussed that we didn't get a staff report on sorry <laughs> um, correct and and please forgive me as I'm trying to learn learn your processes um, so for the the downtown historic ad hoc committee um, creating the historic district uh, the the council the excuse me not council the HPC uh, has had several meetings uh, April 11th May 19th um, to identify a the, the draft study area and uh, <laughs> and on August 8th um, uh, the chair requested a volunteer to to step down to allow two uh, subcommittees to be merged into one uh, Commissioner Quinn volunteered and the Commission unanimously agreed uh, recently at on September 12th, the HPC uh, discussed contributing and non-contributing properties as well as fees and reported they'd have a meeting on October 7th. Um, so uh, with that, um, the recommendation is that, um, that the uh, Education Outreach and, and Research Ad Hoc Committees uh, of, okay. 
I feel like you guys are hazing them. There's not much to report on this one. <laughs> I just wanted to just letting him go. Him not to feel like we were passing over him, but because we did, uh, we did comment on the way in that we appreciated the summary that was put together by you, Joe. Uh, yeah. Um, one other item uh, uh, that involves the down a, a part of the downtown historic district is. Uh, City Manager Vega, can you give us an update on the one item that we're going to be trying to arrange in the next week or two? The, the meeting we're trying to arrange? Yes, okay. with the owner of the... Okay, yeah, so we are, I guess I'll, I'll keep it high level for now because we haven't had a chance to discuss with them. We're trying That's to arrange... trying to do. Yeah, Thanks. we're trying to arrange a meeting with, um, with the uh, Playhouse Theater to talk about the process moving forward regarding them. And so there'll be a meeting in the next, uh, we contacted them yesterday. We're trying to set up a meeting in the next week with uh, Mr. Fiss, myself, and Chair Aikens. Right. Are we talking a new owner? No. no. So oh, that's, oh, sorry. that's the interesting thing. Might be up. Yeah, I don't think anything has officially changed hands yet. So we've reached out to the existing owner, but um, we, we're trying to schedule a conversation and that's gonna be one of the immediate questions is where that status is too. Um, so, so then the other step that was kind of being done in parallel was sending the report to the city council for them to officially receive it? Yeah, so I checked back and uh, we actually, um, it wasn't an official forwarding, I guess, but when the HPC accepted it, we did email it to the council. And I think we actually printed copies and left them in their inbox, but I just don't remember that offhand. But, but I checked my email, we have emailed it to them. So at this point, I don't think we put it on the agenda for them again until there's a recommendation from HPC. Okay. The resolution. The resolution. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, okay. Any questions on this discussion item number four? Okay. So again, I look forward to that meeting. Uh, Mr. Vega and I met a little over a week ago to to go through this and also figure out what the steps were in going forward uh, on this so thank you and thank you joe um discussion item number five uh quarterly reach out i don't know if we have yes so um it says on here that commissioner mccatton would like to just uh, have it on every month I think what I meant was have it on our future agenda items so uh, it comes up in discussion of when it should go on the next one but it doesn't need to be on our agenda every month okay okay just so that <laughs> is that okay with everybody mm -hmm. okay Great. and uh, as far as um, anything that's happened since last month I just um, I know that our focus right now would be the jail and then um, if we're going to take on another um, month. Uh, the month of May is the Historic Preservation Month mm. in the, for the whole country. And there's things, a lot of ideas that go on between everybody. I would like maybe something simple like uh, doing our own walk we talked about. Um, then at some point, if we could get together maybe with the Arts Commission to come up with something for students to do something uh, of the downtown, uh, maybe multimedia some way, and then having it be uh, the Arts th Commission because it's artistic and with the students, we could bring in Parks and Rec. <laughs> I mean, we could, I mean, you can just have it be a, a multi-commissioner thing where, um, you know, with the historic downtown, inviting children, teenager, you know, students to, to visualize how they see their downtown. And then um, the other thing would, would be something to do with with uh, teaching. Uh, Craig said that there was something a few years ago um, when he was at the museum, there was called a museum in a box. We, we did, we had a retired uh, teacher. I think she was a retired from uh, Marimoni Elementary School. And that was one of the things she did was uh, when the schools would bring people over, uh, she had a, present, had a cart and everything that had uh, all kinds of different things, examples, things that they, they could touch, that they could play with. And so that was the museum in the box. Unfortunately, she retired. But Craig thinks that there might be somewhere that they still exist. And, uh, I think so it does. If Collections. it does, to maybe uh, incorporate it into uh, our downtown historic district and 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 Ojai, or, or possibly um, even asking schools to take over like a hallway display 
and where we could put together something that shows why Ohio is special and why we want to preserve it, just because the um, preservation is is the next generation needs to understand preservation. And so if we could have like three or four times a year where we're kind of working with outside of this um, body and um, doing outreach, I think that would be uh, really helpful. But I don't think it needs to be on every month, so as we come up to um, towards May and we'll, we'll start discussing maybe doing our own walk and adding each thing, maybe not all at once so it doesn't overwhelm us, but I think we need one more thing, at least, besides the jail. Yes. Thank you. Um, I, I question the, uh, I, what you're, I will, I'd like to know what you're thinking about the historic walk. Um, since it's done by the museum every single Saturday, and um, sometimes there's, you know, great attendance and other times, and so I'm just wondering what you're thinking that would be different for if we were to well, put it on. Something that would be our um, historic landmarks that would be focus on that more than um, the walk doesn't, uh, Elise was saying it doesn't do a lot of our, our landmarks. So maybe just have it be something that was led by us one month or doing it together with the museum where we kind of altered it a little bit and had it focus more on, on uh, our landmarks for one month. Maybe we could talk to the museum about doing it together, not reinventing a wheel. It's already pretty well done. And I think what that's in May, so June is their last one before they do their hiatus. Yeah, uh, so they, they're off during the, sun, the um, hot months of the year. But they do talk about, because, um, you know, Elise, when she was here, worked changing the brochure for the walking tour and, they, and gave the copy to the museum. But they do have their own um, schedule that they do. But they talked about the, land, the landmarks that are in the downtown area. And then, of course, the other ones are far flung. Mm -hmm. flung. So anyway, that's just all my thought. And I, but I appreciate you clarifying it. Thank you. I feel like I'm kind of in between <laughs> since I'm on the board of the museum too. Um, I, w I was going to suggest yes, maybe um, instead of a quarterly and looking at the uh, just organizationally looking at the agenda maybe having a, um, a standing item uh, report from commissioners where each commissioner can report on their activity of that in that last period. On their that, activity on some of what what we've been mentioning oh discuss, okay just a discussion a standing disc instead of under discussion items it would be a um uh, a commissioner report something like that it's that's common on most most agendas i'll find a a, a title for it okay because we have so commission yeah. comments right at the very end but it comes right at the very end so it's kind of anticlimactic i think <laughs> i think yeah, I know I cheat. So, Rather would, than and that would be whatever the, the the commission's will would be. T typically, that's at at the beginning of an agenda. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So. Yeah, then I would cheat less. Thank you. <laughs> um, we can we can discuss it. Maybe maybe what I could do is draft draft an agenda for one uh, an upcoming meeting and and see if the commission likes it. And, Okay, that sounds great, thank you. Um, as regards uh, this item, um, you mentioned May is Historic Preservation Month, and I wonder if there isn't some type of way we could uh, tie in with the city, or with the school. You know, maybe you and I could go to a, a school board meeting and you know talk beforehand. They do have, I forget her name, but there is a, a woman who uh, deals with special type programs uh, that the school's involved with. You know, they're outside the normal curriculum. So, uh, and maybe we could get some ideas from them on how we, how the HPC and the school district could tie in. Yes, that sounds great. That sound good? Mm -hmm. Maybe right now we can just focus on May and October. Okay. Let's start off slow. Um, okay. Thank you. Let's see. Item number six. Upcoming. 
Let's see. Trying to make sure we don't. Okay, number six. Oh, hi, Dave, we did. Uh, Playhouse Theater Resources Report. I think that was what uh, City Manager Vega just slyly updated us on at a high level. Um, do you know when the, uh, the nominations for the historic awards will go before the city? When, what agenda? Because they have uh, November, second, second meeting, November, second meeting in December. Or, just or, got canceled. Or canceled. Yeah. And I was going to say, I think we had it in that second meeting of November so we could move it to either, um, either of them because it, it's not a, um, it's a, an easy one to move. So we can do it on either of those. I think last meeting we said that it was December. Well, the, the, the presentation. The, yeah, the presentations. Okay, so it's the first meeting of November then. It, yeah, okay. so we'll get it on there. Great. Yeah. Um, and so, and then December 10th is the first council meeting in December, which is where we traditionally make those awards to the individuals. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's see. Do you know what the date is on that November meeting? Because I'm thinking I'm on the other side of the country. November 12th. Oh, no, I'm back. No, I'm gone. Okay, November 12th. Okay. Thais, are you gone between November 9th and November 16th? Or are you going to be here next month? I'll be here. Okay, great. Uh, those are the dates we're heading back east. Okay. Um, Anything else on the future agenda items? Yes. I think, Sherry, do we have a landmark item coming up Thank in you. November? We're shooting for November 14th for Parkland Foothill. Yeah. Oops, so. And we yeah. did get a submittal for 11 on Fourth Foothill. Oh, oh, good. Yeah, good. Year 504, 520, 520 currently. 1104 is your previous? No. It's an Austin Pierpont house on Deloro, Vista Hermosa, and Foothill. It's up um, at the halfway up. 1120, what's the street? 1104, Vista yeah. Hermosa, and Foothill. It's right in the corner. It's an Austin Pierpont house. It's um, owned by Carrie Appel yeah. and um, what's her? Tracy Alpert. Yeah, Tracy. So it's Tarzan's house. Lesson. Yes, Tarzan's house. Yes. Okay. In case you don't know where Tarzan's house is, yeah, I know. it's Tarzan's house. A lot of people Miller. know it. Denny Miller. Yeah. Yes. Joe, for, for you, yeah. Tarzan's house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> AKA Denny Miller. <laughs> when did he move out? Just recently or? A few years ago. Yeah. He moved, I believe, to Las Vegas. 30 but years ago? Was it that long? Yeah. I guess I've seen him on a. He would, him he would. He would. He would come to the museum when he was in town because he and David Mason were big fans. Scolari's lived there in '91. So oh, okay. It was, it was however long ago that was. It's like 30, it feels like 30 years. Oh, okay. It'll be in the report. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Great. I didn't realize that. Uh, I'll have to ask Tracy since he is a, a new board member. Um, so that's the 14th that we're hoping to get that. Mm -hmm. And, and we may have the 1120 foot hill on that same date or? 1104? 1104? It will not. Okay. And is that when you're gone or you're here? I, I, I'm actually, my wife and I are flying back from Atlanta that day. So fortunately we're, fortunately we're going east to west and so we pick up those three hours. So I am planning to be here. Okay. But okay. they've already changed my flights going to east, so I'm not stopping in New Orleans. I'm stopping in St. Louis. Okay. 
Okay, well, I'll be here. So yeah, that's why I was asking. Yeah. Great. Okay. Um, anything else for future? Thank you for mentioning that. Okay. Is now a good time to mention the joint meeting? Now is planning report. Okay. Then, please. Um, yeah. And, um, oh, yeah, perfect. Thank you. Uh, so on uh, last, was it last Monday? It seems like it's been longer than that. Um, uh, it was a week, a week or two weeks ago. A week Monday. and a couple of days ago. Yeah. Uh, on October 3rd, that's what it was. We had the joint meeting with the City Council and the Unified Ohio Unified School District Board about the um, uh, Chaparral School District site and the proposal from developers to build a, what was the phrase, wellness hospitality center? Uh, I think. Yeah, well, that was one of them. They pretty much captured everybody's interest yeah, in, yeah. The, uh, in the design. The group is called Playground Agency. Right. Uh, so they're online. It's uh, uh, a husband and wife who gave the presentation. Mm -hmm. So they um, they were presenting a possible wellness hospitality uh, center, a town center, and possibly housing and parking on the site. Uh, so it was kind of, uh, yeah, a lot of different ideas for, for the site. Um, so they proposed it, and the city council and the school district each kind of went around the um, – Horn and, and gave a little bit of feedback on the project and essentially the next steps that were announced was that playground is going to hold some workshops to get more feedback from from the public on it uh, so that there weren't any decisions made on it uh, no approvals or anything else at this time but um, I think it was just a chance for them to hear if the public liked the idea and then they're gonna look for more ways to get more input so, Right. And I know, Thais, you were there. Darwin, were you, you able to make that? You didn't get to meet that other arch architect that's a mid-century modern fan and a <laughs> big fan of the kindergarten <laughs> building in the back. Um, so again, uh, this group, Playground Agency, there were, uh, they called for a request for proposals. Three, three were submitted. Two of them did not meet the minimum requirements they had, this group was. Um, I talked with Bradley. And he is very much uh, into taking historic buildings and make, keeping them historic and making them work. So I, I think you can probably go on the city site and maybe the school district site that it was recorded. You can see w what they put together uh, as an information. Uh, they did uh, take the landmark, keep them intact. Uh, one of the things that they had uh, thought about, and uh, I talked with Christine about, or yes, uh, and one of the draws was to uh, essentially take the tower and put it back to its original height mm. and the way it was made up, including the colored tiles that are blue and gold as Elise provided us in that question on what they are. So, um, but only an initial presentation. We'll see where it goes from there. Um, yes, other things, Mr. Fagg? Yeah, so the, um, oh, okay, it was September 23rd. It did feel like more than a, they were going more to, than a week they were ago. Going, they were gonna have a, they were gonna have a, a second meeting on, on the third. That's right. They were, yeah. So uh, the other item that went to council this week uh, was um, a uh, explanation of the minor work permit, major work permit, and ordinary repair and maintenance guidelines for the historic preservation code. And um, uh, what we did was we took a list of example projects of what should be considered ordinary repair and maintenance, what should be considered minor work permit, and what should be considered major work permit. And um, ultimately, our recommendation that we made to council was that um, we think there were two things that needed to be done to address the concerns that were raised by, um, by a couple of, of uh, applicant project applicants recently. The two things was to reduce the fee for the minor work permit, and then the second was to um, try to streamline the process for the minor work permit because right now it's a uh, it's fairly complicated i think it's 10 day uh, once somebody applies for a minor work permit 
it, uh, in theory, it should get emailed out to the HPC and the council, I believe, for 10 days. If nobody objects, um, then it, it's approved, but then there's a 15-day appeal period, so it really is a 25-day process. And uh, what we're finding is that the people that have been upset with this minor work permit process, it's the fact that they think it's going to be a 10-day appeal, and then they find out that that just means it's 15 more days to wait. So our recommendation to council was reduce the fee, which they've already done, and then um, shorten the timeline. So we're going to come back and make a recommendation uh, on um, what the timeline should be for, for the approvals. But uh, ultimately, we didn't recommend actually changing any of anything in the ordinance or anything like that. So, so that when you talk about 15 days, you're talking about 15 business days. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's we, an important point. So we ran into the first minor work permit that we issued. I think the frustration was they were paying the same cost as a major work permit and ended up waiting just as long as they would have under a major work permit. Mm -hmm. So it was really a minor work permit in name only. So, uh, you know, it's a learning curve because that was something that was just created. And, and uh, so, like I said, we we're looking at it. We're like, we don't see a problem with the actual structure we just think we we hadn't thought ahead enough on lowering the fee and making it easier for people to get them so i have a question yeah so um you mentioned something about it going to the council and to the hpc mm -hmm. by email yeah because uh, do we get those Is i got the email last time but you guys didn't actually i was wrong in the last meeting i did get that email that came from suzanne so we got we all we all should have gotten an email from suzanne, suzanne talking about the uh, a driveway that was being replaced by different materials. Yeah. And I had mentioned it uh, running into some, another way, but yeah, she sent that out. I, di I did receive that. I do yeah. remember that. So and, oh, what it means is we receive it mm -hmm. and we don't respond to it if we have nothing. Mm -hmm. You don't have to respond and say, I don't have any problem. Correct. You just ignore yeah. it. We send it and then 10 days later, if we haven't had any objection, we approve it. Okay. And But the problem was, and when we had that conversation with the on the driveway, the the applicant was like, "Okay, I can wait ten days." And then, but then the next conversation uh, was then at day ten. Good news, you're approved. Now wait fifteen more days to make sure somebody doesn't and, object. And that ten days is really two weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, days. yeah. So, so I don't think any of us real, like intended for it to be that way. So that's what we're coming back with the recommendation to change. And then I see one more item on the agenda, which I actually don't really have an update on. The la after our last meeting, I sent an email to the city clerk who works with the mayor on scheduling applicant interviews. And I sent that email um, reminding that there's a, an opening, and uh, but I haven't heard of anything being scheduled yet. And I don't know if, if you've been contacted about anything being scheduled. No. Yeah. So I, I don't have an update on that, unfortunately. Okay. <coughs> Uh, one other item that took, are you done? Yep. Sorry. One other item that took place uh, that we had been discussing and was long awaited that took place at City Council the other night uh, at the beginning of the meeting. And a big thank you to, to, to Gail, to our city manager, to our mayor, and to our city council. And that was the proclamation to the Smith Hobson family for the donation of this property all those years ago. So that took place. Uh, I called the uh, Smith Hobsons, uh, told them that I had received the uh, proclamation on, on their behalf. They uh, had been contacted but were unable to be at the meeting and that I would like to present this in person to Greg Smith. And there was silence <laughs> and then she said, you know, he's really busy. I'm guessing so. Uh, well, let me go see what I can do. And so uh, four minutes later, really busy. So I do have an appointment on October 31st at 9.45 in the morning. Uh, he has a 10 o'clock meeting. It shows you how busy they are. So I told her I plan to get there at 9.30. But so uh, we will be uh, presenting the proclamation to uh, Greg Smith and the Smith Hobson group uh, that day. Uh, the other thing that Elise asked me to do, and I think it's very appropriate, was uh, current episode or make, make copy of the Ojai Valley Guide. 
I'm not sure if you've looked in this. I had a copy at home because Drew Mashburn wanted me to wanted to make sure I saw his article in it. If you know Drew, you can understand that. But also in this is Vista de la Sierra and the story of City Hall. This is an article that Elise did. Wonderful article on the uh, on this facility and its history going back. So Elise asked me if I would uh, take a copy of this to the uh, uh, to them, and I'm happy to do so. Uh, I believe Sherry is going to uh, print out a copy of the plaque, and so that will go in the uh, in the proclamation, so they can see what it says out here. So thank you for that. Um, it was interesting to note that the mayor, when he was uh, giving the proclamation, has been involved with this building and the transition from the Smith Hobson family to the city of Ojai all the way back to when he was the ripe old age of 29 and the city manager of the city of Ojai. And uh, different, different episodes from then on. So quite, quite the involvement going back. So anyway, it was nice. It's nice to finally see that take place. And again, thanks to everyone that was involved in getting that take place. So yes. if I was to take a picture of this proclamation now and I wait till you present it to them, is there any problem with posting a picture of that on our? No, it's, it's public and um, it was held up and everything at the council meeting. So it's, okay. you know, anybody who cares to see it can <laughs> watch the video. Okay, thank you. Great. Uh, that's all I have. Anything else? Um, commissioner comments? Thais? Nope. nope. Valerie? Mm -mm. Nope. Joe? Just again, I want to say uh, thanks. I appreciate the opportunity. And if there's anything I can do for you, please reach out. We will. Again, very nice to meet you and very nice to have you I do. working One with us. Yes. Brown Act question. If we need to discuss times, if the times start to get screwed up with Ojai Day, do we have to go through you or can we talk about just times? Scheduling our... is fine. Just pure scheduling, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then we'll leave. Thanks. Yeah, it turned out really nice. Uh, uh.